Well, we've had a, a, a press release today, and I rang you straight away, really, or as soon as I could, because we don't often get press releases from you guys. No, and generally we tend to work in the background with the licensing forums and the authorities and dealing with inside the trade rather than dealing directly with the uh, public regarding matters uh, such as we're going to discuss today. So what's brought this on? A, a spike in physical and verbal abuse towards yes, staff? Yes, uh, certainly. And it's a situation where it's ar arisen mainly where people are attending pubs and being told straight away, I'm sorry you're not in a fit and proper a state to be served in the public houses and I think this issue is mainly being raised from pre-fueling and uh, unfortunately there seems to be a little spike in recreational drug use on the island at the minute as well. The licensee has a responsibility legally don't they to Absolutely. ensure order within their yeah. premises? Yes and every time we do turn it away we don't take these uh, decisions lightly we're turning people away ultimately for their own benefit, but certainly for the benefit of other consum consumers and our staff who are on the premises at the time. So there's been a spike, what, in the last couple of weeks, couple of months? Well, certainly. Uh, we've, been follow we've been looking into it and trying to get gather some stats since Christmas. However, we're seen to see now an even heavier increase in, this, in a spike, which we felt it's now time to get something into the press about it. And how much cooperation do you have with the police on issues? Oh, the authorities are very supportive of us on this. Uh, obviously, uh, we are court protected people as a rule, and we do expect and receive a lot of support from the constabulary and also from the courts. When people do go before the courts, you can expect fairly hefty sentencing. Regarding well, you can risk imprisonment and a ban from pubs, can't well, you? Well, obviously, yes. Uh, even if you don't end up in court, you can end up on a pub watch ban for a long time. Uh, but certainly, if you do assault uh, a member of staff, you should really expect imprisonment. What sort of age group are we talking about? Is it a specific age group? Uh, Youngsters, no, middle-aged, no, older people? Not really, I would say there, there is a mix, but it is generally, as I said, it's always, it's almost always someone just arriving at the premises. It's not someone very often that's been in the premise for even half an hour or 45 minutes, maybe had one or two drinks. It's always uh, someone coming in cold maybe they've been in another premise we obviously don't know that at, uh, at times but uh it does appear to be this issue of pre-fueling which keeps cropping up mm. from all sectors of the uh, uh public and so on at the minute that's because they can get alcohol cheaper can't they and drink it at home and of then course. go out for the social element later well this is of course a big issue the pub is no longer the community hub that we have, and that's down to the low cost of alcohol in many cases, and the expense, obviously, of drinking on on uh, public in a public house. Uh, obviously, the best th the thing about drinking in a public house is it's a safe, safe and supervised environment, and uh, it is the safest place to consume alcohol. I noticed uh, the director of health yesterday had a little bit of a chat with yourselves as well about it, and and. Uh, where that would be the safest place to build, drink, and certainly the minimum price of alcohol coming in would be of assistance, I feel, in these kind of issues. Yeah.